Why the own face? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder. What next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that? Wait a moment, what is that? Rally point. Rally point location is code 181. Listen, everyone. 79. Area 18 5. I repeat, proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 181. What is that number supposed to be? So the route from here should go uh, like this. This is our goal. So is this what you had in mind? Yes, this is it. The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for... <clears throat> Bring it out to me. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir? That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. Do <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go or I'm and be done with you. <laughs> nah, go to hell. <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How on. Aurora.
The Roman Goddess of Dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what. That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. That sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's trick you. Yeah. Yeah. Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. Yermak, full steam ahead. Hi. Full oh, steam ahead. Wow, oh, that that's some distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? Oh, Anna. I was expecting an arrow from a kitten, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker instead. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because I know you. Just so you know, scars is right. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers? Anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Four bogies on a trolley! They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that breach. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. Go and check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it, then. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for a defensive action. 
Stepan, Damir, get the perimeter. I'm on yes, sir. Duke, I need you to recon the immediate area. Got that, sir. Idiot. Let's go, Artyom. From the Aurora. Yes, sir. Sam and Alyosha, stay in reserve. Yes, yes sir. sir. Artyom, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy, enslaved or something. Artyom, there's a boat at the dock. Get over here when you're done. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. Going down. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg.
cell tower, waving a rag or something. Please investigate. I see people at the church. None seem to be armed. We'd better try the open approach. Let's not fire first, okay? has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are in peace. here either. Silantius oh, locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen Our in this place all that year. Arriving under the cover of fog. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silantius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Artyom, I can't cover you when you're inside. I'm changing position to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine. I 
we do is something out there. What is that? On that ladder over there. Huh? What's that? <laughs> well, let's see what's going on over there. Um, maybe there is nothing. There is definitely nothing over Hey! What's that racket? Who's there? Well, it's just an empty can. Just as usual. You're right. Oh, my God. This is a punishment for our sins. It's all for our sins. For we have sinned gravely. Nothing to fear. The fish is with me. And who stands against me? Oh, Just Lord. Save us and have mercy. Oh, Lord. Brothers, the infidel is being fired. Hey, if they say you worship the devil, that too, will you teach me? I'd make a good apprentice, a really, really good one. Come on, teach me. Please, who 
Why are you leaving? I can't do anything. You're just a stronger heretic. human and beast alike. Kill me. Uh, if he doesn't seem that bloodthirsty, maybe he won't.
You all right? Great. I was starting to worry. You raised some hell in there. Ah, oh, well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there. What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge! The old man sent me out as a forward sentry, told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully, with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here though we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble, though. I wish I could somehow talk to that catfish into chomping all those water bugs. How did Mowgli talk to the animals, I wonder? <laughs> Speaking of Mowgli, we have the same blood type, you and I. Haven't you noticed? <laughs> well, I guess you...
you have to go now, Artyom. I feel your father-in-law training his binoculars on us to turn us into pillars of salt. Artyom back from the abyss of NATO You're occupation. Alive. <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... So, you've never seen any foreign army in this area? No, I haven't seen any army. But we haven't really been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. Artyom, stop by my desk once you're done talking to the old man. I've got something for you. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. 
A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we're to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yermak can't handle the repairs alone. So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. And then get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is essentially a local council, to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still pecks a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up, otherwise you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. Damn. What do I even do about this? I could replace the cylinder, but there's just no spare. Hi, Artyom. Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there. Or so everyone says. 